Dogiru nere tanya tu kaya na mwere kira wegi wadha waki na hawa mwaka wagi ligi ya mirogo na idato Kule tariki mirogo e na inya mweli wa ikumina mwe mwaka uyo Ohoitu wa ligi shira ule ogo meire muta ugele wa rohoge Lua wadhi katidia Mandagura mama gutafuruli ni epra ni udu wako wakarara wadho wa igoti Na jia kutitia wira wadho usio Itu walele leka haya no mudenya oro usio maya maroka Duda wale makura nitudhini wa shira uyo kwa ya na matita mao Megi kutitia wadho Ushio kukoro ugeita manitio Matita makule gana na wadhoyo Halini hamona seneta wabusia Okia umtata Gataka te ekage wadhoyo Weke lilo kilo ni muto gole wafuli wili ya muto Kule wakinya ni kwa bateria Kwa malehi mavieti Kumage shuje kia inyanya Ginya ya ikomi na idadato Gataka teka magoti mage Thank you my lord Thank you my name is Senior Council of Congo Mugeni. I'll be arguing uh, on behalf of the sixth uh, petitioner. And my lords and my lady, the main uh, argument that I'll be advancing before your, your lordships this morning is the effect that this law has been enacted by the National Assembly in contravention of mandatory provisions of the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya. My lady, in my opening remarks, the Constitution that was enacted by the people of Kenya in 2010, created a bicameral parliament that has two houses, the National Assembly and the Senate. My Lord, in Article 94, one of the Constitution, the legislative authority is donated to the two houses of Parliament. As we have uh, stated in paragraph 48A of the petition, this bill in its entirety was never considered by the Senate. That's a, a fact, and it's not in dispute. The second argument, my lady, is that Kenya operates under a constitution that creates a limited government whereby there are powers that can be exercised by the government of the day, there are powers that are reserved.